Why wouldn't you take the call? What if? Is the best love story the one we make in our mind? Yeah, we'll go to you. I'd like to, it was sort of quite philosophical, the what if, one path versus the other. And um, it, it seems to me very much more like a play than, than a movie, just the whole way it was set up. And I love the actors. The guy, I have to say, reminded me of Robert De Niro, and the actress reminded me of Sophia Loren. So I think they played it very well. There's more of a sophisticated adult look at romance, right? Because these people had a history, and they have built worlds around that history. And I love the music. It kind of made me feel, though, like I'm sitting on in this waiting room or wherever, listening to two people have a conversation, like I'm eavesdropping on them. And they have their own coded way of speaking. They, they're quoting lines from novels and that. And we all do that. We all have in-jokes with our friends. But when you, you listen to a conversation like that, you're kind of, eh, you're, you're on the outside looking in at these two people. Almost like I shouldn't be here listening to them. I should go away and <laughs> let them have their privacy. So I, I don't know if it worked on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, for me, I was almost made uncomfortable, and I'm glad, because this is yeah. a good film to be uncomfortable in, yeah. Yeah. but I was uncomfortable by the razor-sharp passive aggression. There was just a ton of that, and it wasn't necessarily um, that they didn't love each other. It was just that everything was coded with some subtext that we were just always itching to find out more about. When a man is old enough to do wrong, he should be old enough to do right also. It's still Oscar Wilde, but it's from a woman of no importance. One thing, uh, just because we're speaking on the note of unsettlement or being uncomfortable and that kind of being a big motif in this film, I kind of like latched on to the fact that the camera never at any point seemed to stop moving and it was always panning back and forth, sorry, panning kind of back and forth towards the other uh, person in the dialogue away and that certainly added to my level of sort of discomfort or like feeling of awkwardness or sort of like I was intruding on something. Um, yeah, so I mean like if that was the intention, it was successful for sure. I'm so glad you mentioned that because it's a scene that otherwise would be very static, just people sitting and, sitting and staying still. But that camera movement adds this depth, this dynamic that they're never on steady, on steady ground. I like um well, I loved all the layers of it. I loved the reality of it. Um, sometimes we think we know about like how a relationship should be, but she foreshadows what it would have been in the first segment of it. But I really love the irony. So there's a son and a daughter, but if they were together, there would never be the son, and you kind of see a little bit of a romance blossoming with those children. So it's like there's a twist. So it's like if they were together, that's one love story. But then if they're not together, and then there's maybe another love story. So it's like this continual story of a story to maybe a story to another story of all love. Gold star for picking that up. That's a great point. I didn't even notice that. And, I mean, when they're not together, there's this smoldering tension between them of what could have been, right? So instead of having it, them be together and have this ultimately festering, <coughs> terrible situation, they have this tension that's never resolved and their children might have their own story themselves. I love the, clo the closing credits. Those were wonderful. It looked like something from a 1960s movie with the, the quirky animation and the colors keep changing and... and uh, a typewriter going and, and the credits are coming out of the paper of the typewriter. That was just all so cleverly done. Yeah, yeah and it's like one of the best closing credit sequences we've ever had at the Wild Sound, ever. I don't know why it reminded me of the Pink Panther. But yes, yes. Pink, the yes. Pink Panther, which I love. Oh, yeah, this is people got it. Yeah, okay, cool.